And staying warm was hard to do for folks in Lexington today. Yeah, most of the town was without power for hours this morning after the storm rolled in. News Force Caitlin Ogle has details. The city says the power went out around 6 this morning. After several phone calls and hours later, the lights and heat are back on. We laid in bed till 1030 and that's when I contacted you because we could stay warm in bed and the dog got in there with me and she kept me warm and I kept her warm. Mark Clark waking up at 630 Thursday morning freezing in Lexington. It was probably 30, 28. So you could see your breath. He wasn't alone. Residents commenting on Facebook feeling the same. We have a very elderly population in our community mm -hmm. and some people don't have generators. If it had been a problem with the city, the power would have been on by 8 o'clock. Lexington gets their power from the Oklahoma Municipal Power Association, but the electricity is fed through OG&E's transmission system. We've been working this morning to get uh, with OG&E to try and get Lexington fed off of a secondary transmission line that OG&E has out that in that area as well. They told OMPA that there were certain protocols that had to be met at that time. We didn't meet those protocols. The city posting online, quote, we have been without power for approximately three hours, and this is unacceptable when there are other options. While working, OG&E finding the problem. They realized that there was a co-op line laying over that OG&E transmission line, which uh, seems to be the cause. Around noon, while we were talking to Mark, suddenly the lights on the Christmas tree started shining. The power back on. OG&E also was able to switch the feed uh, for Lexington over to that alternate feed until that that could be repaired. In Lexington, Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. OGNE is working to find the exact cause of that outage.